Hello, I'd uh, like to start off by just giving, uh, it's already been said, a lot of what I was going to say has already been said, I'd just like to echo and underline a lot of the things that other people have said. Uh, first of all, thanks to Council for putting this resolution together. I'm really happy to see it. And I want to give a special thanks to Nick Licata. Um, I will tell you what, Nick, you, you took a you took a big risk by getting involved in this movement, or by putting your name on this movement as early as you did. And I will say, a month ago, right now, this movement is unstoppable. Um, like the banks that we deemed too big to fail, this movement is now too big to fail. Uh, but I can say that it was not the case about a month ago, and uh, you took a big risk by doing that, so good job. Um, hope it pays off. <laughs> yeah. There was somebody at the, uh, the town hall meeting the other day mentioned that, you know, we need clear goals. And um, I was like, well, we do have clear goals. We're one of the only movements uh, occupies in the, the nation that has clear goals. And we've been doing it in a really pragmatic uh, way. And uh, the steps we've taken have been incredible. I myself have been waiting for this. Every, everything that's happening right now with the whole Occupy movement, I've been waiting for it to happen for years. I don't know if anybody else. Stop watching their television and stop worrying about you know what's going on in the news and start trying to make the news and start trying to change the world the way it should be. And uh, it's so cool to see everybody out on the streets. So cool to see my generation waking up and seeing all, the, all everybody else too and all the generations working together to make the kind of changes we want to see in the world. Um, there's a lot on this resolution today, and if I could address every one of my would, uh, the one I, I would like to underscore the most is uh, Craig, who just spoke. I'm on the same committee to get out of uh, get money out of politics working group, and we hope to be working with you in that time, because we want to create a system where you don't have to worry about your jobs constantly. You can start actually, you know, be able to do your jobs and help look out for everyone else and not have to constantly raise money for, uh, you know, being able to keep your jobs. So I just want to say that that's going to be one of the biggest things on our agenda next, and uh, thank you all for your support. We look forward to working with you. Thank you for having us here today to meet with you. Thank you very much for passing the resolution. My name is Rebel Smith, and I'm representing myself as just a citizen of Seattle. Um, I would also say that I represent the part of the 99% that doesn't actively and openly camp out. There's a reason for that. Many of us who are part of the 99% and have a variety of backgrounds have limitations or disabilities. In my case, I have multiple sclerosis. So I've seen everything um, you can imagine um, from upper middle class to lower class. I recently got off of uh, the uh, Medicaid program um, that was through personal fortune. I'm lucky. I've been on GAU and I know what that's like. I do have uh, Medicare and Social Security and I'm afraid. Uh, what we have here uh, right now in the city of Seattle is a condition where we have what is a national and global problem of uh, travesty, and we have to deal with it as a city and as a community. And what I say over and over, and why I back Occupy, the Occupy movement, even here in the city of Seattle, its ups and downs, and across the nation, and this is going to shift and change and grow, is because we need to look to our communities, our local communities, and our community leaders, that would be you, as city council members, and the mayor of Seattle, and the mayor's office, and all of our advocates in the community for the people of Seattle to take care of us. We help our own and we help each other in the capacity that we have. I'd like to thank you again for everything you've done and do, as I always say, keep your heart, your hearts and your minds open because there will be more change happening. <laughs> Hi, uh, good afternoon. Uh, again, my name is Martin Chapman. I'm, uh, I want to speak in support of the resolution and also to give some context based on my experience on site and also working with a lot of the uh, working groups here and, and independently. Um, I uh, understand the resolution mentions that local governments are training to provide basic, basic needs, um, including Seattle. Um, the situation is, you know, I, and I really encourage you guys to come down to site to actually see that we are providing basic needs to individuals with whatever limited resources we do have. Um, we have a medical tent, we have a food tent, we have an information tent, and you know, we are providing services to folks where there's a void. So I really support and encourage you guys to come down and actually talk to the folks on site so you get a better idea of what we actually do. Um, I also, uh, I read, I'm not 
sure this is true, but that the city of, of uh, uh, Washington, D.C. provides uh, services, uh, I guess housing, for when, when temperature falls below 32 degrees, that they provide housing for individuals. Um, the temperatures at night um, are you know, freezing, below freezing, and the folks who do need services, they need blankets, you know, they need resources. We provide that resource. You know, we are kind of understaffed, we are under-resourced. You know, we would like, you know, if you can encourage folks you know in your circles to help us do this, because again, this is not gonna work with just us alone. And there are a lot of dedicated folks here who are actually working on site. And so, uh, again, your expertise, and you know, if you can market your ideas, whatever, to us, we can do the same thing. We can work together. That's, that's basically what this is about, a sustainable community. Um, and lastly, uh, I also read somewhere that uh, several financial institutions have had their debt, you know, toxic assets written off. Um, uh, if we can do the same for students, you know, you wouldn't see the same kind of, uh, I see, presence of students <laughs> You know, on site who have debt, who are just working and can no longer afford, you know, their lifestyles because they have all this debt to pay off. Who, who cannot afford, um, how do you say, a lifestyle because of the amount of debt they have. Um, so I, again, I just really encourage you um, to visit the site, and I thank you for your, for your time and the opportunity to speak to you guys directly because this is what I get. Democracy is this is what democracy looks like. Thank you. Thank you. will be followed by Mark Taylor Kentfield and Justin Najar, I think it is. All right, hello, my name is Troy Jensen, and uh, I've been with Occupy for quite a while now, but I'd like to speak as a private citizen. This resolution has many good things for our city that I believe we really need. I'd like to speak especially about um, maximizing funding for education. We put a lot of money into drug, re drug treatment and homeless problems, and I feel we should stop the problem where it starts. I know that I was a child at risk, and I fell right into the risk. I was raised by a single mother addicted to meth, or it was a, not a good life. I wish there would be more resources out there, you know, to keep me from following a lifestyle that I just escaped. And um, so please, um, in the problem where it starts, we can't just sustain it, we have to end it, and that's all.